This is why a morning routine is so important because you wake up, bruh, early and you do what's hard. You do the hardest thing possible in the morning. So whatever comes throughout the day, it's simple. I ain't gonna lie. So for the past couple of days, my alarm been going off at five o'clock. And I've been lazy. I'm like, man, I don't even feel like getting up. I'm just get like another hour of sleep. Bruh, this morning, I'm like, what do I want my life to look like? If I'm trying to run a business or anything I'm trying to do, do I want to just put it off and be like, nah, I don't feel like doing it? Or do I want to get up and attack it head on? So this morning, I made a promise to myself. Woke up at five, I'm laying there. I'm like, what do I want my life to look like later down the line? Do I want to be a bitch about this shit? Or do I want to get up and do what's hard. So that's exactly what I did because I already know what you do with one thing is what you do with everything or how you move with one thing is how you move with everything. So I got my ass up. If you get an extra hour of sleep or extra half hour of sleep, you still will be tired when you wake up. It don't make a difference. I ain't just working out with shoes with no socks, bro. I just got out the pool, so that's how I came in the gym. Look, it's 5.52 in the morning. You don't have to get up and do something and spend three hours on it, spend four, two hours on it, whatever. You don't gotta get up and spend that much time on it. As long as you do at least 30 minutes of a workout or reading or meditation or whatever, that's 30 extra minutes that you done did something that could make a change in your life, that could move the needle in your life. You know what I'm saying? Don't put too much pressure on yourself at first. Eventually, yeah, you wanna get there, but as long as you try it out, see how you feel afterwards. And I know you gonna feel good. That's all that matter, bro. That's all that matter. So I want y'all to get up. You know, first, I want y'all to ask yourself, what does my future self look like? What is he doing at five in the morning? What is he doing at 5.30 in the morning? What is he doing before his day gets started? You feel me? Is he giving himself an extra hour? It's like you cheat in the system. Or is he staying asleep? Ask yourself, what is he doing? Who is he? What's his values? What's his morals? You know what I'm saying? What's his discipline like, or her discipline like? And then, you know what I'm saying, once you come to the conclusion of how that look, you gotta start the next day. You can't keep putting shit off. Tell him, telling you, bro, the last couple days I was putting this shit off. I'm like, bro, I ain't doing this. What I'm doing it for? Now, since I did it, I know why I did it. You know what I'm saying. I got my why. So get your ass up out that fucking bed, man. I feel amazing. I feel like I could take on the world. I feel like I could do anything. This is literally my breakfast every morning. An apple, blueberries, strawberries, and grapes. I sometimes get some peanuts too. I don't do cashews, I do straight peanuts. So in my mornings, right? When I'm driving, I usually turn on 432 hertz. It gives me inner peace. I know it's hard to see me right now because it's dark, but it gives me that inner healing and it allows me to pray over the sound. 
It allows me to go into deep thought, do a little bit of meditation. 